Good morning, everybody. For our stewardship moment today, we're going to do a little play for you, a little skit. Hope you enjoy it. It reminds me a little bit of that old show, The Twilight Zone. <laughs> we are in a parallel universe going back in time. What if this congregation had made some different decisions starting in 1990? Let's drop in now on a couple of meetings from 1990. I can't reach him. He's never at home to answer his phone. You know, I saw one of those mobile phone gadgets today. It was weird. Those things will never work. We don't have but a few people coming, only four kids in the Sunday school. It would be a waste of time and money to have a full-time minister. Maybe we could get a part-time theology student and save some money. I want something better for my kids. I want them to learn more about the Bible. I certainly don't know enough myself, and somebody who's lively and gifted with children would really help to bring in more families. That Jeff Johnson we interviewed had some great ideas, didn't he? No, churches are getting smaller and smaller. It's just a fact of life here in the 1990s. We can't get any bigger. It's useless to try and just pouring money down a hole. Besides, that Jeff Johnson's wife was Catholic. <laughs> Odd couple. He's wicked tall and lanky, and she's wicked shy. Hey, hey, I'm going to Mainspring. Are there any lasagnas in the fridge? Yeah, I think there's about a half a dozen in there. That should be enough. So a part-time theology student was hired for this small congregational church in order to save a little money. It is now 1993. Let's see what happens. Hey, look up at that bean. It looks a little shaky. Could it be a problem? It better not be. That'd be the end of us for sure. We just spent $250,000 on siding and painting. That's enough. The engineer's report said it was not good news. He said it was very serious. And he said they wanted $250,000 to fix it. They're all in cahoots to get our money. This cahoots st conspiracy stuff is ridiculous. If Jesus Christ came down to the rafters, you'd say he was in cahoots. <laughs> that beam has been here for a hundred years, and I'll be here for a hundred more. <laughs> hey, I'm off the mainspring. I don't see any lasagnas in the fridge. Here's a 20. See what you can buy with that. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Let's look in now on the year 1996. Oh wow, this is a mess. The sanctuary has been condemned. Where will we meet for worship? Well, there is just 30 of us. We'll, we'll all fit in Huntington Hall. Yeah, but that's not worship. What will we do for music? I know where we can get an electric keyboard cheap. Pat Nelson can play anytime, anywhere. <laughs> but I want a real worship service with real music. We are just too small. We can't afford it. Hey, it's mainspring time again. Any lasagnas? Let's give them leftovers from coffee hour. Hopefully there'll be enough left over. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Let's go to 1999. Here it is, the turn of millennium. You know what they say, all the computers are going to crash and our cell phones won't work. What's going to happen? Oh, they'll figure something out. Computers were developed by humans, and human technology can pull us out of this one. The world is expanding with great momentum. We are so much more productive than we were 10 years ago. Oh, it's just a bubble that's going to pop any time now. <laughs> and what about global warming? You probably think they're right about that, too. Hurricanes and earthquakes are getting more serious. Oh, that's a bunch of hogwash. Hey, I've, I've got my kids here. We're, we're ready to serve at Mainspring, but since there's no coffee hour, there's just no leftovers. Ask Frank Wilson. I hear he makes a mean salad. That's your kind of <laughs> <laughs> The dominoes were set up, and they began to fall. First, Jeff was not hired. Then, the roof was not repaired. 
then the organ and a piano, piano were destroyed and not replaced. That meant no hiring of Matt Larson and no music program as we know it today. Burgett wasn't hired, so the children's program didn't develop as it would have. No growth or desire for growth meant no new school or Johnson Hall to be built. Hurricane Katrina did its destruction, and there was no team from First Congregational Church of Milton to go down there and help. Therefore, Ken Nutting and the whole team would have missed that life-changing experience. Many tens of thousands of benevolence dollars would not have been given to charities which benefit hundreds of children and families. So here is our parallel universe in a much different church today. How do we set up the dominoes for our future today? We hope you'll all pledge coming up in three weeks on November 9th. Thank you very much from the players.